Hey everyone, welcome back to my daily reading for Wednesday, March the 19th. Okay, so I've laid out three cards here. I have the Devil, the Emperor, two major arcana kind of back to back, and then the Ten of Diamonds, Tendra, a fire card. Um, and it's interesting that we have this card, Tendra, who is all fire. She is the personality that she can never get enough. She is the personality that um, uh, you give her something, she wants more, that kind of thing. It's interesting that she is here and there's a devil. We have the emperor, also a fire sign, but um, rice sandwich in the middle here. We have the devil and Tendra. Something's going on here with Tendra and the devil. This is a woman. A woman who um, really gets her way when she wants it. And if you look at this figure here, you see this man. He's tied down. You see his wrist. He's tied down. He doesn't look too very happy. Okay, and this woman's all like, give me this, give me that, do whatever I say, you know. And he feels like he has no choices. Like he just, he has to be submissive. He's in that position of being submissive, you know. And, um... You know, this sort of reminds me of that movie, like, The Devil, the Devil Wears Prada. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, you know, you, you, what was it, the uh, Meryl Streep uh, was the boss. And, you know, the more you gave her, the more she wanted. And, and, and um, nothing was ever enough for her. So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at that type of personality, a very alpha, alpha personality. Okay. Um, this Emperor card um, suggested that type of person um, enjoys the limelight um, they like to be the center of attention and they like to to pretty much lay out the lay down the rules and wherever she's at whatever situation she's in okay she's she's always she is saying this is what we need to do next blah 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 so I think what what this reading is suggesting is that um, number one if we find ourselves in in this type of position where we're the ones uh, um wanting more and more we need to we need to recognize that and understand that that's that's a very imbalanced that's very imbalanced okay we we shouldn't be so um so hungry for things you know our hunger is not satiated or things are you know we're not satisfied and we need to uh, recognize that and avoid it or rectify that okay um this emperor is saying if someone is indeed um, behaving that way with you, um, that um, it is time that you take a stance, and, and specifically a diplomatic stance. You know, you say, hey, look, I need to talk to you, and you talk to them, but do so in a diplomatic manner, um, and things will work out fine, okay? That's the positive aspect of this card. This is an advice, okay? Otherwise, if you don't take that stand, if you don't, if you don't approach matters in a diplomatic way, um, this person is going to keep wanting more and more and more from you, okay? And this would be, and I keep thinking about the movie The Devil Wears Prada. This would be the nightmare boss. This would be the nightmare boss situation. And if that's the case, I mean, if you're getting paid, I mean, you love your job. I mean, I'm sorry, you love your paycheck because the paycheck is really nice and chunky, but you can't stand your boss or the workplace. You need to find a, diploma a diplomatic way to approach um, the individual and say, hey, you know, you're not, you're, you're, you're exceedingly, you know, you're, ex you're, you're wanting more than, than the job description. I know you want 110%, but you want a thousand percent here. You know, you know what I mean, right? Um, there is a limit to everything, so otherwise you're just going to remain in this situation, tied down and feeling like you just can't escape it, you know, like you're stuck, you can't escape it, and it's not healthy, it wears one out, it'll wear us out, so whatever that situation is, be diplomatic, but definitely talk to the person, okay, but the, be diplomatic, okay, they're going to try to turn the tables, uh, the situation around, and they're going to want to um, command that conversation okay that's a that's a little warning they're gonna want to command that situation what you do is you must deflect that okay because these are people that are very you know they're just psychologically uh, they excel at commanding each conversation and every social encounter so know that about them and and uh, when you do speak to them and confront them um, 
have a countermeasure already in place in your mind. Like if, if you know that they're going to try to take control of the conversation, do your very best to keep control of the conversation. You must not lose control of the conversation or else, you know, you're, you're just going to not succeed. You're not going to succeed. You're just going to end up feeling like, well, that was a waste of time. Well, that was a waste of time and now what's my next opportunity i'm not going to have an opportunity to speak to this person again and and you know you're just going to feel like crap okay so remember take command of this conversation all right and uh this way you can douse some of the fires of this person okay yep you need to do it that's the advice for today and i will see you tomorrow bye bye